hey, do you feel like sometimes you get the bubble guts and you've been sucking down Pepto-Bismol, Tums, Mylanta, Herbagas, Pepsi, Beano, and you feel like nothing's helping, so you pick up these Gin Gin candies and that's not helping either, and you still have the same symptoms. Did you know you could have H. pylori? That's this type of stomach condition that can lead to peptic ulcer disease. Most of the time, people don't even know that they have it. They end up complaining to the doctor that they keep belching or they get nauseous. I can't hardly eat any food I, or you have a loss of appetite. You get uh, stomach irritation. Some people can get kind of gassy, stomach crampy. But for a telltale sign, they will usually be full early and have issues like up in this area. That's called the epigastric area. So sometimes you get like this inflammation around in the stomach area and everything in your GI system goes nuts or ramico, okay? So the human part of you is feeling all these different things and you start chasing it with all these over-the-counter things and nothing is helping. So you keep trying to fix it yourself, fix it yourself, fix it yourself because goodness forbid that you call and tell someone about it. So I'm calling to encourage you today to please go and get checked out. It's a simple, easy test. You talk to your doctor about the symptoms, or you can talk to IHM to the L. We can order you a breath test, or you can do a stool test to see if you are positive for H. pylori. And if you are positive for H. pylori, after you get done getting treated, stop taking NSAIDs, okay? This is the reason for this video. I met this guy, and he was ordered meloxicam. I'm like, well, did you tell the doctor you had H. pylori? He was like, he didn't ask. I'm like, well... How many times a day you said you're taking it? He said four. I'm like, sir, you're only supposed to take meloxicam once a day. And he says, well, how am I going to take care of my pain? I'm thinking, oh my gosh. I said, sir, you're going to burn a full on hole in your stomach and end up with some serious peptic ulcer disease. And you can't do that. And another thing, if you got a gastric bypass, stop taking NSAIDs without your bariatric surgeon's approval. Okay? Because you can end up hurting yourself. It ain't worth it. All right? Just wanted to tell you guys a little bit of that. Hope it helps some of you. Have a good day.